fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the video. Today, I want to take a look at one of the rares that came out with Galaxy Quest. And I know, if anybody says anything, we have the survey currently ongoing. And if you haven't done the survey, I would encourage you to check out yesterday's video. But I know that not everybody enjoyed Galaxy Quest. That's okay. Not asking you to. But, with it being in the game, are the officers useful? That's what we're going to cover in today's video with the amazing Alan Rickman. May he rest forever in peace. And the Great Dane, which I'm going to call him here because I actually do believe he's very useful for you as a player. Now, there are two ways that he's useful, and that honestly feels a little rare for a lot of the officers that we'll cover in today's game. It feels like they're very niche, much like the ships. But this one actually has multiple uses, multiple purposes. You see me running him with a loot run here, and I'll explain why in a second as you take advantage of his ability for grinding hostiles. But let's actually take a look at his overall officer profile and discuss him at large i'd say arguably he might be the best now not necessarily the best that everybody has to agree on gwen demarco is also fantastic but in terms of like who has the value I actually always like it when rares are very high value items because they take less shards to obtain when they do release sourcing path you usually have a better run and probably have a better usage to the free-to-play and the light spenders because so many of the epics require you to get them to tier five before they're great well here are the two abilities by graptar's hammer which is an officer ability increases the amount of loot gain from defeating mirror universe hostiles by 120 percent when assigned to the nsea protector well what constitutes a mirror hostile i'm gonna make you watch the video for that one but you probably already know all right and then by the sons of warvan Alexander Dane increases your ship's base impulse speed. This is honestly something that a lot of players have been asking for for a long time. Do we still need one for warp speed and range below decks? Absolutely. And obviously that's been recommended and required and people talk about that in my chat box all the time. But besides that, this is also another good ability. Now let's take a look at the totals here via FCSC.space and you can see what he can start with at the officer ability, get up to, and then the below decks ability. I will be honest, I think below deck abilities are one of the best things the game added, adds a lot of depth and makes crewing better overall. Hopefully we see some of the other things we've been asking for, again, like that aforementioned warp speed and warp range below decks. But anyway, you see what they max out here with the 60 below decks. That's a pretty nice boost for impulse, especially if you're a lower level, because as you get into G4 and G5 in Starship Fleet Command, many of you are aware that you will then get better results in terms of warp speed. Just the outlaw tree alone gives you more impulse speed, but you also have things like Fleet Commander Kirk and other things that can boost those numbers up. Well, now you have a below deck ability to help you keep up with all those you know, larger players. But the loot ability is probably one of the bigger ones for me because of how it elevates the mirror universe grind. And in particular, once you get the NSEA protector, kind of makes some of the other stuff, I would argue, redundant. Yeah, I'll cover that here now. So what I mean by that is we've tested uh, Lube, especially if you don't follow him on the stream, follow him on Twitch. He's a good guy, even though he's British. But being British aside, he's a really good content creator, and I love working with all the CCs. And he talked about this in his stream, that you can use this officer ability with the NSCA Protector against the new Omega Hostiles. So if you haven't seen the Omega Hostiles, I'll fly out there real quick. It doesn't take super long. We'll see if that new update works with the mirror universe we're supposed to automatically send in the next system but he does work against the omega hostiles now the thing with the nsea protectors number one it did come out with good free-to-play sourcing at least in month one and hopefully that persists moving forward and we'll see what the officer sourcing for these looks like because as always that's a waiting game and i'm definitely not asking you to love things based on the waiting game hey it worked that time so what you're going to have now is a ship that does all of the loops and does them relatively quickly. Whereas this one is going to allow me to start growing after I actually need to go one more system up. I typically will farm in Valuria there or maybe even Dubon. Uh, this one is a nice system, but this one has nice nodes if you like mining. So that means I need to go to Maluria and then we'll go over to Dubon. But getting the loot bonus there makes it to where it's easier for you as a player to decide what to do in the mirror universe. And what I mean by that is, look, with the NSC protector, you can mine Trellium A and Trellium D far faster than anything else, especially if you're a low 40 player, you're definitely going to notice it. If you're a higher player in the 60s, your Selkie's going to be faster until you get the NSC protector well leveled up. But 
The value is then in that the NSC protectors eliminated those loops and then Dane and the protector are gonna help make that Omega grind pretty bearable to where, I'll tell you that where I'm at a tier three and a half, I mean, I spend maybe, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes of active gameplay in the mirror a week now. And while I've talked about that, that shouldn't be the method when it comes to things like ship sourcing and loops where the ship shouldn't make the thing disappear and then the loop was just ridiculously hard to do beforehand. Did I tell that to happen? But, okay, that was different. Let's go back to, all right, that was unique. I'm not editing that out. I've been keeping a lot of my editable things in because poorly things happen in this game. Anyway, the point I'm making is Dane has value to adding in to reducing the amount of grind and loop in the game. Now, with the Mirror Universe having such great research, it is something that you're going to want to or probably need to focus on. I hate that it's something that you have to focus on, but it's really hard to ignore. But thankfully, Dane makes it much more bearable because of these two abilities. Number one, the impulse speed below can be great. More importantly, helping you grind out the Omega nodes and the Omega hostiles can get more rewards. So there's the grind and then there's the hostile. So if I hit this, I'm going to get more. So you see, I've already got 216 from that other hostile I just hit. And uh, actually, how strong is this one? Well, let's, let's go crazy. But I want to show you this node. Again, this has nothing to do with Dane. We can see the mining node for the Trellium A there with this big node in Mirror to Bond. Let's see if we can hit this with the small NSG protector and this crew. But like I said, the main point you're looking for with Alexander Dane is you're getting much better grind, improved grind when it comes to grinding out the Omega Trellium. And then with his below deck ability, even if you're not using him in the mirror universe, you're going to be able to take advantage. Look at that. I got 1500 from that hit. Uh, a big part thanks to Dane. So we are also going to be getting a lot more from him in terms of if you're a level 30 player or level 34 or 40 or whatever, because you're going to be getting a pretty good value, in my opinion, when it comes to actual speed of the game and impulse speed is something you might not believe is that valuable until you start the game over and play where we've been on 710 now i'm not complaining about playing on server 710 i'm actually having an absolute blast playing on 710 but one negative is the fact that early warp speed and ship speed is abysmal and you're still going to notice that a little bit even in the 30s and 40s it's not until really the 50s and 60s where you finally feel like all the ships move fast enough well Dane's helping with that. And I think that has a lot of value to a lot of people who watch this channel. If you end up getting him, that's the value. If you see him in an event store, definitely worth going after. If he does get some pretty decent sourcing in the near future, we can hope and pray. He is definitely worth going after. There are some that come out that aren't worth it. I'm going to try this ISS Enterprise. Let's go hit this thing real quick. We're putting this in this video because mirror universe but the biggest thing is the two things that we pointed out and then the rest of this video is me just going through and i'm about to mine but also taking on the enterprise e because well there's a research for that and the nsa becomes really good at it so we'll hop back on a note and then i'm going to go ahead and claim this chest so y'all can see here in the video what that does the mirror universe tactics you see there's my liquid trillium d there's my raw omega so everything made better by galaxy quest but Plenty of people don't like the Galaxy Quests here, and I respect that. Let me know what you think about Dane in the comment section below. If you obtained him, are you using him? Do you plan on obtaining him? Or are you just happy to have gotten his avatar, maybe? Either way, here you go with Sir Alexander Dane. Definitely a very good officer in the game for the impulse speed and speeding up the Mirror Universe loop. And I'm very, very grateful that he's not a one-trick pony like so many others that we have in today's game. Anyway, I'm out. Live long and plunder. Stay safe out there. Deuces, that's me. If you haven't already please make sure you go jump into the survey. I definitely want to have as many people as possible participate because I want your views and opinions respected. And I'm calling out my EU players. Need more of y'all to represent. Y'all make up like 40% of the player base. And yet, fun fact, they'll make up like 25% of my surveys. So y'all need to fix that percentage, Europeans. I'm doing this for y'all. I'm doing it for everybody. And I want y'all to be included. Your voice matters. Even though you have like eight page rows, your voice matters. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you on the next Star Trek Fleet Command video, which is every day around these parts. An even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.